fishermen on Lake Tana start at six in the morning. It's the best time of day for them. I love my work. I'm happiest when I start to fish in the morning. I'm alone on the lake, I'm out in the fresh air, and it's just beautiful. Others have formed collectives and have already finished catching fish by 10 in the morning. Entire families can live from fishing, but the stocks are threatened. We've noticed that the fish stocks are dwindling. There is no one structuring who's allowed to fish and when. Nobody observes the fishing season. Until now, people have fished whenever they wanted to, and as much as they could. That's why the stocks are diminishing. And the fish can't spawn in peace anymore. The shores of the lake are in danger. The fishermen still cut papyrus to build their boats, as their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. The German Nature and Biodiversity Conservation Unit wants to preserve the area. It doesn't want to destroy traditions, but it does want people to change their ways. More than three million people are dependent on the lake. Our government is also investing too much money. Trusting Lake Tana exists. We have hydropower, uh, hydropower investments in this in this in this part of Lake Tana. We have more than seventy thousand hectares of land is being considered for investment for agriculture. All this is planned, assuming Lake Tana is there. So it is very important. It's millions of people livelihood is at stake. So protecting Lake Tana is crucial. But the people need the land to survive. Farmers cultivate fields right up to the water's edge, under the simplest of conditions, to the displeasure of conservationists, because birds from Europe, like these cranes, spend part of the year there. It's one of the most important bird areas, I said, because most of, almost more than 50% of the migratory birds, especially common cranes, they come and they stay here during the winter season in Europe. The first photographers are already on hand to watch the spectacle. The Nature and Biodiversity Union wants to encourage farmers to develop ecotourism. For the locals, that's new territory. What do they say whenever they see some uh, Europeans coming to their field and trying to observe the, the birds? And they say it's a bit strange for them because they do not know what is so special about the birds at the moment. And I was trying to explain to them how we can link it to ecotourism, how we can benefit the youth, especially the young ones who, who are landless. There aren't any paved roads in the villages. There's just no infrastructure yet. The only place nature protection is doing well so far is in what's known as church forests on the more than 30 islands. Many animal species live in the trees. The forests are well protected because they mean everything to the faithful. The last surviving 14th century Ethiopian Orthodox monasteries can be found here. There are hardly any tourists, but plenty of pristine nature, which the Coptic monks care for personally. The forest is sacred to us. We have here all sorts of different species of monkeys, wild boars, and birds. They all live with us in the forest. The monk shows us his pride and joy. This tree is very important to us. It's very old and highly resistant to ants. It's my favorite tree. The centuries-old trees aren't the only reason the islands are important for nature protection. The banks and the rivers that flow into the lake provide an important place for fish to spawn. 
fishes in Lake Tana are a bit different. The, they do spawning or they breed in the tributaries of the Lake Tana. And during this uh, breeding time, they go to the river mouths of uh, Lake Tana. There are uh, around 66 uh, rivers that are feeding Lake Tana, but four of them are the major rivers. And in these river mouths, we are trying to to have a core zones where fishes can easily breed and they can return to the lake. Only when the fish stocks recover will the people near the lake have a livelihood. Kibeya Tagenga feels it firsthand. We have to protect our lake. If things go on like this, it'll be disastrous. Five years ago, I could earn 500 beer a day. Now it's just 150 because there are fewer and fewer fish. Everyone can profit from nature protection. We have to learn to work with the authorities to protect biodiversity here because the fish stocks can recover only if we have regulated fishing seasons. And only then can we secure our work in the long term and then export more to international markets. Until now, people have done too little to protect Lake Tana. That could change if the region becomes an official nature protection area.